Hi YouTube. Um, today I just wanted to do like a thing where I just tell this story that I've been thinking about a lot lately. Um, it's just kind of funny. Um, so I'll just jump into it. Um, when I was 19, um, I used to be a waitress at a sushi bar called Geisha Sushi here in El Paso. And, um, well, this guy used to always come in, and I used to, like, just notice that everybody would just treat him differently. So I knew he was somebody different, obviously. And so I was, like, started to wait on his table, and then it got to the point where he would always request for me, and this and that. And one day, my manager ends up telling me that he's the owner of the building. So his name is Jose Fong. Um, he has owned a lot of, um, a, adult entertainment clubs in my hometown, and, um, he's been very successful, and so, um, you know, he's a very, very nice person, and he knows a lot of people, and one day, when I was waiting on his table, um, we started talking about things that we really... Um, like and things that we want to experience before we die and one thing I told him was that I've always wanted to meet JJ Arms and for you people that don't know um, who JJ Arms is I'm just a real quick like run through is just that um so JJ Arms originally born uh, Julian Adamas um, he Basically, is a, pri a private investigator um, who has uh, hooks for hands. Um, and how this happened was that when he was 11, um, him and his friend um, had some uh, like torpedoes, and they rubbed the two. Uh, there's like dynamite torpedoes, and like they rubbed two together, or he did, and um, they detonated, resulting in his amputation. So, um, it's just really inspiring how much he has overcome and, um, just his whole outlook. And actually, if you guys want to, um, look it up, his story is just, uh, compelling. Um, and so when he got older, um, around 1958, he briefly worked as an actor in California where he met Marlon Brando and became good friends with him. Um... And he actually left a letter for him when he was leaving California to come back here to El Paso um, to start his private investigation um, organization. And he left him a note saying that if he ever needed anything, that he would be there. So lo and behold, one day, um, Marlon Brando's uh, wife um, called and uh, said, our son has been kidnapped. And so, uh, J.J. Arms found him, and um, there's a lot of other, like, amazing things that he's done, but ever since I was little and living, uh, growing up in the Lower Valley, I just, like, always wanted to meet him. But, um, anyway, so one day me and, me and, uh, Jose Fong are talking, and he said, well, you can meet him, and I didn't believe him, to be honest, and... The very next day, I hear a knock on the door, and it's his personal driver in, like, full military gear. Um, and I look outside, and there's a limousine there, and I just, like, get in, and I shook his hook, and I met his son, and... We went to go eat at um, this restaurant in town, and it was just really, really cool just how people treated us, like, when we got there. And um, after that, I just came home, and I was just starstruck, pretty much. So, um, it's just one of those things that you go through that, like, you just never forget. So... I just thought it'd be something to share and um, if you like this video please subscribe to my channel and give me a thumbs up bye guys